Oh, hello again. Um, I wanted to talk again about this, uh, uh, the Pope and uh, what's been going on since that last video of the, of the Pope in there. It's called a video for the church. It's not German. Uh, that's the name of the video I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, since then, uh, the Pope talked, said something to me. Um, and, uh, we kind of got into like a little argument over, uh, some things and, uh, uh, he wasn't too happy with me. Uh, but, um, what, what I wanted to say was that, uh, from what I can see, from what I can understand about what's happening uh, not only to the papacy and what's happening in the Middle East and what's happening in uh, the war in the, I, it's not the East, East Bloc, it's not the East Bloc, it's further East than the East Bloc. <coughs> But I, I, I said this a long time ago, Joe Biden is a very determined man. Um, and I said that uh, when I was in Daytona Beach, that his counterintelligence operation was, in, was happening uh, about the time uh, Donald Trump won the election in 2016 and things were changing in uh, Daytona Beach. Someone stole my camper. Uh, that was the city uh, stole that. And that that's a felony and it's still in history. It's a felony. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, if with a, with a civil suit can be brought at any time in history, uh, as long as you're alive, I think. I'm pretty sure I got to check on that, but um, there's no statute of limitations in a civil case, uh, but, um, and you can still uh, be charged with a felony. You can still uh, have all kinds of things happen to you. You have to check the statutes, you have to check the law, uh, and you have to really be sharp uh, in your intelligence, in your mind, uh, when you're dealing with something with a court case, right? Uh, but um, Joe Biden is a very determined man, and uh, he wants something. He wants to be something. He wants, he wants something. And um, that operation in uh, Florida uh, was too very much something he could benefit from for him not to be involved in that situation, in my opinion. Uh, and the same is true for Israel and these hostages where uh, we're being required uh, to uh, consent to a dialogue with the people that have stolen our, uh, we want to call that an election because it's a matter of choice to support that government or to support what that government is supposed to be. So uh, I wanted to point out that it, what's happening in Israel is going to cause a dialogue with that government or could cause a dialogue. And the same thing is true in Germany or in Europe uh, involving what they are calling or what they used to call or did call maybe six or ten months ago 
they called it NATO, uh, and it's Ramstein Air Force Base, and we were all set up and ready for that with uh, that rock group, the German rock, rock group Ramstein. Uh, but that's been all completely screwed up by somebody in Europe. I don't know who that was. It could have been Ukraine, which uh, I'm trying very hard uh, not to understand that for some reason, uh, what happened there. Uh, and uh, what I said in the last video was that Russia was reluctant to do something uh, there uh, as uh, Vladimir Putin is uh, uh, what they they have all kinds of stories on YouTube about his assassination uh, and his clones and um, his the things that I'm trying to say, which no one will repeat in the United States press about um, the United States starting that war for political reasons. Um, and uh, when you understand politics, you have to understand truths. You have to understand motives. You have to understand uh, politics. It's truth, politics, and lies. And of course, you have whatever faith you have involved there, along with your discipline and rules and principles. And I, I, I put those all together in five words. It was principles, practices, standards, rules, and law, and that kind of governs everything, I think. It's been a long time since I've had a free mind that could think straight, uh, and that's uh, something I really had to fight for in Florida, and uh, I'm not fighting for that here in Pennsylvania. I'm 58. I'll be 58 here at the end of this month. Uh, and uh, I'm a little too old to be fighting with, with uh, people that uh, have the education they have and their uh, filters. I, had, I put something in there about a filter. I'll put it in the description area. Um, it comes from a document that I read when I was about uh, 18 or 20. Uh, comes from a primary leadership development course in uh, uh, the National Guard of Florida. Uh, it's called Barriers to Effective Communication, uh, and it's a frame of reference. And I'll put I'll put it in the description area, the little quote there. But it's from a military document, a military school, a military course for its sergeant school. Uh, and, uh, but um, what was I talking about? I was talking about the possibility that Joe Biden and his determination and his desire to have his own self-enrichment has caused that war in um, Europe and the war in Israel and the Vatican problems. Um, oh yeah, that's the whole point of this video here. Uh, see, I was I got into a quarrel, a altercation with uh, the Pope. Uh, and long before this Pope ever became Pope, uh, before Pope Benedict was appointed, and I'm not quite sure how 
long before that, I had said to the Vatican, whoever was there, um, that I didn't need the Vatican. I don't need the Vatican at all. The Vatican needs me. That's what I told them. And I said, if you don't want me, I don't need you. I'd like to be the Pope. It would fit in nice with the world the way it's supposed to be. Uh, and it would put, it would show the entire world the correct guidance as far as my point of view and my, what I'm doing in the world. I would be a great Pope. And I told them that before Pope Benedict was appointed Pope. Uh, and that was a long, long time ago. Uh, but it seems today that New Jersey or Pennsylvania or New York uh, or the president or Congress, I don't know who it is. Um, in the last video, I blamed Europe, which I think I should say uh, has something to do with Ramstein because of their song about, uh, it's a video that depicts the uh, Romans the Roman defeat against the German tribes. Uh, it was Julius Caesar. He built a bridge, and that's on their video. Uh, but uh, I wanted to make sure I pointed that out, that that was Ramstein Air Force Base intelligence, and there was a NATO over there, and... Um, that intelligence base um, is manipulating, uh, saying that there's a NATO and not a European Union. Because the NATO was dissolved in order to establish the European Union. And now they're talking about NATO and there's a General Milley over there. And they're sending tanks and weapons to the Ukraine uh, to combat people that they had an international agreement uh, of detente from the SALT agreements. Um, and they're betraying uh, their own word and breaking international law as they ignore the uh, agreements that they had and they're attacking a ally, one of the best allies I've ever known this country to have as far as truth and justice, intelligence and support for the worthy in the United States. It's always been Russia. Uh, I've never been to Russia. I don't understand how Russian people live, but I've always tried to um, be involved as best I could with those people so that I could come to know them and understand them. But this government in the United States is absolutely, totally against that. And if you look and can find the truth in your history, um, that's you'll see that's everything I've always tried to do. And um, the same with Palestine. Uh, we had that Palestine established. Whoever we were, we got that established over there. Um, and that was supposed to be something. Um, I was a good friend with uh, Arafat. Uh, and uh, uh, Arafat was a very big fan of um, equality. Uh, 
when he was fighting the Jews, fighting Israel. Uh, he uh, believed in uh, the equality of the less endowed in financial uh, matters while the Israelis were stealing land in the West Bank uh, for whatever enjoyment they get out of that or were getting out of that. And um, that was Palestine, that became Palestine, that was supposed to be a place that was to represent something like that. Um, and from a global uh, participation network type of thing. Uh, and it didn't work for some reason exactly after that was formed uh, there was a fella in a college somewhere, I guess it was Turkey or something, but he was assassinated. He was a professor, uh, and uh, he got assassinated uh, by the Saudis, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but um, what was the point? of this video. The point of this video was that I was telling the church, whoever that is, is who's uh, causing the Pope all of his problems over there. Um, I don't need the Vatican. I don't need it. You need to be very clear on that. You need to really understand what I'm saying. I'm not talking to the Pope. I'm not talking to anybody who wants the religion to be what it truly is supposed to be. I'm talking to those who are getting politically involved in a church to politically manipulate the church. I don't need the Vatican. I don't have to be Pope. I don't need it. And um, it's only something to show the world what is truly uh, something that needs to be understood uh, without any uh, credibility problems that can be exploited. So um, if, if there's something wrong with uh, what it is that I want, um, Maybe you might want to say something about that and mention me specifically on your uh, television shows that nobody watches anymore. Okay? So I just wanted to make that clear and really explain that uh, when I try to explain how this place here in Jeanette was manipulated for 20 or 30 years, 40 years up until the formation of the internet and uh, the YouTube channel and channels like it and social media. So uh, if uh, Joe Biden wants to have faith in the old system of television networks and newspapers, that's fine. Uh, but I think he should consider his age and um, what he's, what kind of legacy or um, the exact things he appears to be uh, contributing to the American people. So I just wanted to be as clear as I could on that without, without involving Donald Trump and uh, his um, judicial problems that are supposed to possibly coincide with my own. Okay, so I just wanted to be 
uh, as clear as I could and um, say what I should there, okay?